All right, he's in people. It's been quite a few um, weeks, maybe months, since we've actually had a new video, and I've uh, probably also talking to you guys. Um, it's been a lot that's gone through, of course, with the pandemic. Um, but you know, we're back to hopefully work in order um, in terms of uh, fast forward and some development. As you guys already know, our plans for Yeeson. We're hoping this year to uh, finish all our planes and move into uh, Yeeson trains, as well as our plans uh, for a train simulator eventually uh, to be announced. Anyway, this video is supposed to be on planes and so uh, as you can see I'm probably flying this A350 well not probably I'm flying this A350 as you can see um, and so we've done some changes that we've been testing in secret um, which was which is just a few uh, kit changes just trying to tweak some things find out some new stuff um, and so as you know in a, in a previous well in the the previous latest version of the kit uh, we use what is known as fake gravity to try and get the plane into the air and because there was a few there was a bug that we found we wouldn't be able to get enough thrust for the plane to get into the air as well as keeping the acceleration realistic on the ground so you can see our planes actually take off pretty fast compared to the real world in this new version that's tweaked now we've actually fixed that and we don't need the fake gravity so the benefit of that is in the previous version because of fake gravity it meant that our turning rate was very very slow compared to real life and so it would feel like taking a 180 degrees turn would take maybe 10 feel like five minutes or 10 minutes but with this version because we don't have fake gravity and it's actually the real momentum of the plane um, we do not have that issue. Um, we've also tweaked the flaps and how those work. The auto trim system has been tweaked. Um, we are now no longer using elevator hold. We're just using the actual trim now, which uh, will um, which makes our fly by wire. We've also tweaked the yaw damper to be more uh, realistic. We had the yaw damper uh, sensors here at the back of the plane, and this meant they didn't really give us the best um, censoring for uh, Dutch roll or you know adverse yaw and so now that the sensor is in the front the uh, yaw damper reacts properly um, and as you can see yes um, we've got a few more tweaks we're just going to finish off the auto thrust and we'll be done um, with this update um, we won't at the moment release this update on the A350 and A380 yet until the A321's out and then we will um, the A321 will be the first one to use this uh, tweaked version of the kit then we'll probably ask you guys if you want a update on um, this version and uh, if you of course say yes we will add that as a uh, optional update okay depending on who feels happy to use it so as you can see let's make our turn here you can see already how quick the turn is and when we're, we're barely even we're barely even you know into the full turn and so here is where i'd say 30 degrees and when you get there you want to so as you can see how quick that turn is um you can even see our curve right the yaw damper, as you can see, is turned into that direction as well. It's ever so slightly. Of course, if we go further, if we choose to go further here, you'll see the yaw damper's gone that far, okay? And this is literally, this is no, like, fake animations, okay? Like, anything you see on the plane. I always say I would not put something on the plane if it's not going to be realistic. As you can see, we're losing speed as well. Why are we losing speed? It's because we're maintaining our lift, but we don't have enough lift. So we're creating drag. So let's just put some thrust in, okay? And there we go. Now, ideally, I'd be using the auto thrust system. So um, that would maintain that for me, okay? But of course, we haven't actually finished doing the PID tuning quickly for that version. Okay, so anyway, let's get ourselves out of that turn. And here we go. So as you can see how quick that turning was, um, and that's exactly how it should be in real world. Um, that turn, if I did it on the previous kit, would take years. Um, and if you've ever felt using the previous kit, not previous kit, the previous version, there we go, um, you would have felt how slow that is. 
It also should mean that the autopilot will be a lot more effective in terms of its turning ability. Um, in the previous version, the turning wasn't too much of a problem. However, um, if you came in very late and you turned on the auto uh, pilot, it would most likely struggle or miss uh, its approach. But now, with this turning ability, it should be able to turn quickly. So. The benefits of this system, um, it just feels a lot better to fly. Um, obviously, having a yaw damper now reducing actual adverse yaw is a benefit. I still don't understand fully what that sometimes is. It feels like some turbulence that um, I've not um, realized was on the plane um, because there does feel to be sometimes some type of wind. Um, that eventually comes and it wasn't I haven't actually programmed it in so I'm assuming that that's just coming from um, the plane flying because of how it's flying there's some yaw being created by the engines or something and then the yaw damp is obviously countering that with itself because um, it's definitely not something to do with the tunes because um, it wouldn't be very easy to get rid of so I'm assuming there's constantly because of the engines as well sometimes both engines um, aren't fully at the same thrust, so um, this ends up having to counter that um, as well. There's also um, on the ground, um, it's a lot more realistic into how the plane reacts sometimes on the runway, where it sometimes feels like it wants to turn off to the right, so you have to counter that with rudder, and the tidal, um becomes less effective, of course, at higher speed. This is all owing to eventually soon, when we've got the A321 now, we'll be able to do a fuel system, um, which will be fun games, and of course that will mess with the CG more. So, um, yeah, this this has reacted a lot better than I thought, which is awesome. Um, of course, I got to get the um, yeast and arrows to do further tests. We want to just make sure it's fairly stable and stuff before we put on the A321. Uh, but it feels nice and it feels stable, at least for me as it is. Um, so yeah, um, in air I don't have to worry about adverse yaw and as you can see for pretty much how you know we're uh, in coordinated flight is our heading is barely changing. It may change the odd few degrees depending on turbulence. However, it's staying at stagnant 132 so that means we aren't facing any adverse yaw. In Maybe in the other versions you will see that, and that's because the yaw of the plane wasn't actually accurately done because it was put, um, the, um, the sense of the wasn't put in the right position, it was put at the back, which is useless because the back of the plane is behind the CG, so of course it's going to be um, correctly in line with the plane. It's the nose that sometimes drifts off, okay. Um, so on the other plane you'd probably be seeing these numbers constantly moving even when we are at no bank. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I got to do some few obviously checks and tweaks just to make sure that even the um, plane, um, because it's a new version I've got to make sure all these systems fully work because we just tweaked a few things. So you know stuff like the flare mode we've got to make sure that the flare mode reacts as it should um, and everything and then um, that should be good uh, some people did ask about um, a flight sim or some sim training place with our with our planes uh, we are not pretty sure yet I mean we've had we have the score that we still need to restart um, so probably what will happen is we will look at some type of thing like that but sponsored by our Cloud9 Academy school so um, more details on that soon anyway that's about it for me or I'm not going to be able to land because I'm not sure um, I'll be able to land in manual mode but I'm not really sure what will happen if I land in the fly by wire mode because I haven't yet um, tweaked that so to save myself from shame on this video um, I'm going to leave it here so thanks for tuning in and um, see you later